Hello, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create light rays using Photoshop. It's a really fun tutorial. I'm also gonna give you the file so you can practice yourself with it, and I'll tell you how to get that at the end of the video. This is Creating Light Rays in Photoshop. Hi, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography and you can find us at theschoolofphotography.com where we teach you the best in photography education. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create light rays using Photoshop. It's really good fun to do. I'm gonna give you the file so you can practice it yourself and I'll tell you how to get that at the end. Um, let's just jump straight in and show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so here we have the finished result, and this is the image with the light rays added. I've put all of the rays here in a group, so if I just hide that group, you can see the before and after. And underneath here, I've put a color fill of black, and I've done that just so that you can see where the rays and that are. So there's the rays that I've added there. Okay, so we're gonna delete these two here and we're gonna start from scratch. So I'm just gonna drag and drop these into the bin. And the first thing I want you to do is to create a color fill adjustment layer. And you do that by clicking on the adjustments layer icon, create new adjustment layer icon at the bottom here. And you go to solid color. Make sure that you select black from down the bottom here, click OK, and take the opacity down to around about 40%, and then hide that layer, and we're just gonna use it as a reference. The next thing you gotta do is add a new layer. So you do that by clicking the new layer icon at the bottom here, and then select the brush tool. Now, you can select the brush tool over here, or you can press the B button button on your keyboard for a shortcut. Then hold down the Alt key and select a color in the, in the sun already. So we're gonna select like this orange here. Now, just so that you know, this shot was taken while I was just scouting around for good images of autumn. And I've done a long exposure into the sun. So you've got to have some kind of light source where the rays are gonna be coming from. And in my case, it's the sun here. And if you do a long exposure into a light source, you get automatically, you get this kind of bleed of light anyway. So it helps you out. So that's what I've done here. And we're gonna enhance them rays by doing this technique that I'm gonna show you now. So we've selected a color of the rays. Firstly, I'm going to make my brush bigger by pressing the bracket keys. Um, that's a bit big, about there like that. Then if you right click, you want your hardness to be around about 80% like that. Press return when you've done that. And then I'm just gonna add a few big dots around my image like this like one there maybe one down there maybe one there it doesn't matter too much because we can always erase and delete them which i'm going to show you how to do later on okay so that'll do for now then i'm going to go to filter blur and i'm going to select radial blur then you need to click on the zoom option here drag the amount up to 100% and move the center point of the zoom roughly where you think the sun is or the light source is within your image. So it could be over there, it could be anywhere you want to. But ours, if you could see here, it's just off center. So I'm literally just gonna go off center like that. Then click OK. And then it spreads out these dots, as you can see like this. Let's bring in the color fill adjustment layer like that. And now you can see what it's done. Now we need to move the rays so it matches up with the light source. So press your V key and that will select the move tool, which is up the top here. And then you can move this layer around to where you think it should be. So I am gonna put it about there. That's good. So now you've put it roughly in place. And now what you can do is you can enhance 
these beans a bit further and we're going to start rubbing them out so they look like they're coming from behind the trees and stuff like that so what you need to do is select your smudge tool so over in your toolbox here is your smudge tool now it might show this in your toolbox depending on where what your settings are if you click and hold and you can go down to smudge tool there like that make sure your strength is around about 50 percent make sure you've got a nice big brush and then adjust these beams how you see fit so if i click on this one and drag it out like this release and as you can see as it's rendering it's slowly stretching out that beam so I'm going to do that on a few more this one here stretch it out and don't forget that you're going to need to do it in the angle of the Sun or the light source that's coming out otherwise it won't look right um, that one's okay and I think I'll probably stretch this one down as well just to see how that will look as well okay now we're going to try and make it look a bit more realistic as if it's going behind trees and in front of trees so i'm going to add a layer mask here again you need to select your brush tool press b again make sure that your harness is around 80 percent so you right click to get that up press return when you're finished and i'm going to take the opacity down to around about 70 odd percent like that now if I paint here as you can see I can remove it so it looks like it's coming from behind the tree there like that and let's delete this one here so it looks like it's going behind the tree as well so again I'm gonna rub in here like that and then if I press the X key it flicks from black to white over here and because we're working on a mask white reveals and black um, makes it invisible so now if I paint white back over here as you can see it looks like the beam is now going behind that tree which is great okay so let's take the color fill off to see how it looks and that's not looking bad so let's hide the color fill for now and let's add a new layer another new layer like that go back to your brush tool by pressing B make sure your brush tools on and this time I'm gonna make my brush a little bit smaller like this and I'm gonna do the same thing again I'm gonna take my opacity up of the brush again back to a hundred percent and I'm gonna just put dots all over the image and create more rays so just like this and maybe one there like that again filter blur radial blur oh, this is already set from before so I can leave it press OK bring back the color fill so I can see what's going on press the V button for your move tool and move the layer so it looks like it's coming from the light source again good let's hide it so I can see what's going on yeah now that's not bad at all and I think I'm gonna add a layer mask and have this one coming under the tree so let's add another mask um, press the X key so I'm back to black press the B key so I've got the brush tool again and let's just rub that out there so it looks like it's coming from behind the tree okay I'm happy with that so now I'm gonna add another layer and this time do really small beams of light so click the new layer icon down the bottom you'll get a new layer there let's hide the color fill again um, press B for your brush tool Use your bracket keys again to go bigger and smaller. This time I'm going to have a really small one like this. And oh, make sure that your opacity is back to 100% at the top here. And then we can start adding really small beams of light around the sun and maybe a few over here as well. And then it will look like there's just really small beams of light 
going through the leaves. So let's do something like that. Maybe another one down here. Doesn't really matter how many I do because I can always erase them or take them away with a mask afterwards. So again, we go to filter, blur, radial blur. And if you want to do that quickly in the future, you just click radial blur at the top here or it's control and F. And that's blurred them out for me. Let's bring back the color fill. Let's hide these two. And it's just given me a slight bit of light beams like that. Press the V key, move it into place. So you've got it to where you want it to be. I can instantly see I've got this here, which I don't want. So I'm just gonna quickly add a layer mask, uh, brush tool, make sure you're on black. And I'm just gonna get rid of that. I'm just gonna make sure that that's gone. Um, and there I've just got slight light beams just to enhance it a bit further and then that one and then that one again the big one there so let's hide that and that is looking quite good I think the big ones need to have maybe a little bit um, taken away from them so I'm gonna select the mask on the big rays uh, I'm going to make a nice big brush like this and I'm going to take the opacity right down around about 30% and make sure I've got a nice softer brush this time like that and then in the direction in the direction of the Sun I can thin these out if I want to just so they're not as prominent like that yes that's quite good um, a little bit more like that okay that'll do and then basically you can keep going and keep going until you get it exactly how you want it to by using the smudge tool and the masks let's hide the color fill let's press shift and hit the top layer press Control and G to group the the light ray layers that's before and that's after before and after and it's as easy as that. That's creating light rays using Photoshop. It's a good bit of fun. You've got the file. Uh, I'm gonna provide the link to the file in the description of this video so you can have a play around with it yourself. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. If there's anything you want us to cover at the School of Photography, put it in the comments below. It's really great to hear from you and it gives us good ideas for new tutorials. You can also join our wonderful photography learning community on social media. We've got some wonderful conversations going on Facebook, so please look us up there. Thanks for watching, and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.